Ghost Whisperer Season 1, Episode 12, Part 3. Here we go. I remember being here. On this bridge. This Alright, so uh, he's an earthbound spirit and earthbound spirits are a majority of the time confused. They're not sure of what really happened. Wait a minute. Am I still alive? According to Christianity, I should be in hell. Is this hell? Where it happened. This is where I killed myself. Alright, so he is a suicide. Um, I had someone contact me via messenger and he had asked about his older brother that was a suicide as well. I guess he wanted me to check but uh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> I still more I still need more training and channeling, yes. I knew the minute I stepped off that <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I made a mistake. And in that moment, I... Let me guess, you saw your life flash in front of you? I felt so alive. I felt everything. I couldn't help but appreciate the irony, you know? All this time and effort to try and feel nothing to me. Yeah, so... Uh... Yeah. Make myself numb, but in those last seconds, I felt it all. I realized. Splat. I loved it. And then I couldn't believe I was about to feel nothing ever again. Yeah, so. Um... I don't know. I, I don't know what uh, what to say about this. Uh, again, confusion. He's recollecting his last few thoughts of when he was alive. So my heart broke into a hundred pieces before the water ever stopped it. <laughs> and uh, nine point five, nine point six, and from the French judge. He gives old Marty a 7.5. Okay, so um, I, uh, my spirit guys do talk to me. And yes, some of them have uh, a sense of humor. And they, <laughs> they say weird things or they say uh, awkward things that they know they can get away with because they're not there in the physical form. So uh, it's no holds barred when they say, they ask you something really uncomfortable. Why did you do this to yourself? It's a good question. Why would you want to do that to yourself? I don't know. You don't suppose I can undo it, do you? <sighs> he doesn't know it, or at the time he just didn't uh, see value in his life. He's like, eh. life is just one big joke to him. I wish we all could, but we only get one shot. One shot in this physical form. Uh, but once you pass, you go through your life review, um, after which time you will, of course, see your energy with a consciousness. And you can create your heaven, your version of heaven, whatever that may be. Or you could be like, you know what? I need to do a do-over. I need to do this again. This time I want to be put into the other side of the spectrum. I was a suicide. I need to be a person that was uh, that had a close friend that was a suicide. I need to know how that feels. Yes. So everything is a lesson. Yes. You have to figure out why you did this to yourself. You'll never have any peace if you don't.
Okay, so this this show really glorifies you have to do this and you have to do that. Like this, the whole premise of the show is every episode, the uh, Earthbound spirit comes in and Belinda has to help them through all of these scenarios and whatnot. <sighs> Sorry to break it to you guys, but that's not how it works. Belinda would have to talk to the spirit and let them know this. All of this doesn't matter anymore. This is just where we come to learn this is the physical sense you are energy you are your original state okay so let go of human constructs let go of these emotions you are now a spirit you now operate a different set of rules not that of man not that of religion you shouldn't be ashamed of what happened or you shouldn't have any guilt So, I, um, I made a decision. Please tell me that it's not to put your end down. No, I'm gonna give Open Mike another shot. I'm gonna go see Francie tonight, and see if we give me another chance. I always thought that this was a waste of minutes and time uh, for the story. It's just the extra acting, extra storyline. It, it takes up the, uh, the one hour uh, time slot that they have. Oh, that's a great idea. Hey, you know what? When you see Francie, can you get her to tell you more about Marty and Sandra? Because I kind of hit a wall with her. Yeah, I'll try. I'm actually really curious myself. Oh, uh, ask and you shall receive. Hi. Hi. I was told you're selling the comedy cave stuff. Marty, golden CDs, posters. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, Marty, the Earthbound Spirits, uh, personal belongings are being sold. And... Of course, this is, I guess, that was his girlfriend. Love interest when he was alive. Yeah. It's on display over there in some of the window. Okay, great. I'll take it all. All? Yes. Please. Just like that. That should cover it, I think. I think, yeah. Yes. Please box it up for me. I'll have someone come by and pick it up. Just like that, huh? You're just gonna walk out. No receipt. Okay. No. Uh, Sandra Holloway bought it all? Yeah. She was really interested in the Marty Golden items. Mm hmm. So, obviously, she's trying to collect all his remaining belongings. Here, make yourself useful. One on each table. Okay. So, what ever happened with Marty and Sandra anyway? Well, she owes him a lot. She knows it. First time. Okay, so love interest and I'm guessing understudy. Padawan, yes. When Sandra came in here, she was like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> Sandra always had great material. But she never had the nerve to stand up there and go for it. Her fear, her talent. <laughs> Alright, so that's not easy at all. Okay, so... Uh, I'm in my 40s now, and only now am I feeling comfortable enough to do something like, like that. Well, not stand-up comedy, but actually stand on the stage with a crowd, f with a huge crowd and say something. Yeah. I think he saw some of himself in her. He wanted to help her the way he couldn't seem to help himself. For the last 15 minutes. But after the first night he pulled her up there, it all changed. The crowd loved her, and she really took off. They fed off each other in the best ways and in the worst ways. Aha. Okay. Love interest and understudy. Okay. They couldn't be without each other. They were like vampires in love. Live by night, sleep by day. Then he disappeared. No explanation at all, just gone. Poof. Nada. They didn't find a body or signs of anything. She didn't leave her apartment for two months. Wow. You think she's still... Oh, enough. Let's not talk about it. How about you? You ready to give it another shot? Yes, I, I am going to sign up for open mic next week. Oh, good. 
Don't punk out on me this time. <laughs> Peg Bundy. <laughs> was it Peggy? Peg, yeah. All right, so, uh, clairsentient people, um, uh, you could probably sympathize with this. Uh, I felt it too. What I originally started off as a clairs uh, clairsentient, and uh, secondly, clairvoyant. But eventually, <coughs> things shifted around. But I do recall one of the first clair experiences I had. I could feel somebody walking past me really quick. And you can feel that disturbance in the air. Just, whoosh. yeah. In fact, it was this exact chair walking around me, passing this way and around. Yes. I know. Boo. Do tell, why did you commit suicide? Bum bum bum. Europe. She left me to go to Europe. What are you talking about? <laughs> of course, he killed himself over his girl's decision to leave him, or for a little while. I couldn't get any traction. I couldn't get out of that clout. Sanders started to get TV gigs. And when I tried, they said I didn't test well. They said my material was too cerebral for a young audience. I was outraged. Even <laughs> All right. Do I sense some jealousy here? Oh, the girl that I trained and that uh, the one that I'm seeing is outperforming me. Damn it. Even after I looked up the word cerebral, I couldn't agree. That tour was going to turn it all around for her. She was going to become a star. Well, all right, so. Okay, could be jealousy or it could be a feeling of, uh, wow, this isn't fair. I put in my time. She didn't. I'll never make it. You know, I thought you would kind of be happy for me. We won't make it, Sandy. We'll never last that long apart. You know, if this were happening to you, I would be cheering for you. No, no. So, okay, so she's she's going to take the gig or whatever, and he uh, is saying, no, it's just, we ain't going to last, it's not going to work out, you're going to leave? No, you wouldn't, you would be afraid that I would never come back. I have to do this, it's my shot and I have to take it. It sounds to me like you already made up your mind. Well, uh, look, I'm not leaving you, I'm just going away. Yeah, okay, so, um... If you truly loved her, you would have, you know, go ahead. This is your dream. Go ahead and do it. My opinion, he's being selfish. Yeah. It's the same damn thing, right? No. Just the thought of Sandra gone so long. And knowing that she'd be over there with the best while I was stuck here. You know, the guy who doesn't test well. How come no? Envy, jealousy, sure. The guy that doesn't test well. Now that is a fitting coda for my life. Failed comedian makes dramatic exit, but nobody notices. <laughs> okay, so everybody says you just disappeared. Did they find your body? Guess not. Everybody noticed, Marty. You broke their hearts. I know. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> How stupid. Cerebral my ass. Selfish. You have to make it right with Sandra. I mean, think about all that she's been carrying around with her. I'll help you. 
I don't know that I can face her yet. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, he's talking like a regular human. Spirits can face anybody. <laughs> I wouldn't know. I'm the human, and some spirits I can't face because they're, uh, they're deceased relatives, long history. I'd rather just. Let's just lay, let's let it lay as is. I said my piece. I forgive you. I let you go. We're all good. Just let it be. Right. Don't visit me. <laughs> okay. So let's start with Francie. He wants to say thank you for letting him sleep on your couch, for giving him a chance, for believing in him. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, Peggy Bundy here. Uh, I'm wondering. Hey, she, you know, the years have been kind to Peggy. Look at her. She looks pretty good. Anyways, um, let's see how she takes this information. We're never giving up on him. I can't believe this. He killed himself? He wants you to know that he's sorry. He sees me. He sees you in your shower. He sees you when you're naked. They see everything. Hears me? How? Look, everybody has a talent. This is mine. I never meant to hurt anyone. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so uh, Robert Schimmel. He's the uh, comedian. I don't know if he's still alive or not, but one of his early jokes, he said... Uh, you know when you masturbate, your your dead relatives are watching you. That's true. <laughs> Least of all her. He wants you to know that he never meant to hurt anyone. <gasps> Is that right? Then why the hell did you do it? He wanted to hurt himself. Alright, so there's no point of getting angry. His physical form is gone. You know, all there is is a consciousness. Bull, Marty, you hurt yourself for two minutes. You hurt the people who loved you for the rest of their lives. Is that what you wanted? Are you happy now? I would take it back if I could. Do you know how... Okay, so... Uh, this happened to me. Okay, so... Uh, I may be talking to spirits, then I get triggered. And I start getting angrier. And negative negative uh, feeling starts to come out. I notice different spirits are stop start to pop up, <laughs> not the good ones. The one that loves to feed off of that negative energy you're giving off, they come around. Yes, so uh, I can sense my guys, and all of a sudden there is something else. Then I started to get really lucid dreams, and not the good kind. Yes, demonic blood. Curdling, force entry. Uh, uh, not good. Many people believed in you. Do you know that I, I loved you. I loved you like my son. Can you please just. Yeah. So. Yeah. So those are some. Uh, she let him go. A lot of feelings. Let's see what Marty has to say. Can you ask her to stop. I can't take. Is he still there? And he knows that you're right. And do you know what you did to Sandra? <laughs> and by the way, you know what? <laughs> well, okay. I know it, it, she's venting and releasing, but that doesn't help. <laughs> you have to learn to forgive all your enemies and, uh, and all the transgressions that were pressed upon you. And you also, also have to ask for forgiveness for... Uh, Oh, wait. You also have to ask for forgiveness for all the transgressions you have pressed onto others. Yes. Oh. You shouldn't be here crying to me. You need, you need to let her know that this was not her fault. You need to set her free, pal. Yeah. That's. Okay. She's just venting and release and going off on him which you shouldn't do he's spirit he's not no longer human he does not operate at the same rules that we do 
Um, you shouldn't do that. No. She has lost a lot. And she will never, ever get back. She lost a lot and he lost his life. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so finger pointing. You know, it was you, right? It was your fault. You can't, don't do that. He will. You tell him. I'm just too angry to talk to him right now. Oh, he hears you. Mm -hmm. I miss him. You tell him, I will never forget him. But do you forgive him? Okay. So, to be a healed soul, you have to, again, forgive all your enemies and all the transgressions that were pressed against you, and you have to ask for forgiveness for all the transgression you have pressed onto others. If you cannot fulfill those two basic requirements, you will not be a healed soul. You just told him. Stupid. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is that? I, I feel he's hugging you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, again, my left hand is my sentient hand. Every now and then, I feel touches. Whatever. Uh, I get warning signs. Oh, watch out! Something's something's coming up, or you know, I'm in a bad area. They will let me know that they're there, and be on guard. Yeah, so um, these weird touches happens a lot. I don't get freaked out because I'm used to it. So obviously, Peggy Bundy here is uh, <laughs> it's just her uh, first. Yeah. Oh. oh. You don't leave your family. Alright, so that is the end of this uh, part three. Okay, let's let's take a let's take another look at what Peggy just said. Um, uh, we're family, you're never supposed to leave family. That's the physical sense. And I do talk to a lot of people or try to uh, ease their mind. You know, like, I miss him. I, I don't see him. Okay, that's true. You miss his physical form. Uh, he's no longer here in physical form, but just like Marty, spirits are all around us all the time. Different dimensions overlay each other. And only special people have the perception to hear, see, feel them. Uh, normal people can't. They, they live their lives phasing in and, and through these other spirits, but they could never perceive them because they don't. They're not sensitive. Uh, special people are sensitive, and that's why we are called mediums. So, yeah. All right. So this is the end of part three. I will see you guys again in part four. Take care. Bye bye.